Hello, welcome to lesson 19, Inheritance in C-Sharp, brought to you by Ankro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn the key points in the inheritance. Right now, we will jump into the slide where there is explained. Key points in inheritance. C-Sharp supports only single class inheritance. To understand this statement, we will jump into Visual Studio. As we saw in the slide, C-Sharp supports only single class inheritance. It means that single class inheritance. Now, here, as we saw in the example of inheritance, here also we are having the public class employee and other two classes that is part-time employee and full-time employee. And both part-time employee and full-time employee, they are inheriting, they are inheriting the class employee. Now, the objective is whether to check uh, this derived class, part-time employee and full-time employee are going to inherit more than one class. Now, suppose I'm having another class, I'll create another class, public class, I'll create a class called A. Now, when I try to inherit this class A to the full-time employee, now what will happen? Now, when I do this, when and, and when, I build, when I build the program, it tells me class full-time employee cannot have multiple base classes. It means that for a single class, you can't inherit more than one class. That is the objective of that statement. Now, instead of having multiple inheritance, c -sharp supports multi-level inheritance. It means that for the class A, now I can implement, now I can inherit full-time employee. This is multi-level inheritance. Now, the class A can have all the properties of employee and methods and also the property of full-time employee. That is the specialty of multi-level inheritance. Now, whether to confirm, what I'll do, I'll just create an object of the class A. New. A. Now, A dot. When I do A dot, you can observe all the properties in the class employee. That is first name, last name, email and the method print full name as well as the specified property of the full-time employee that is your salary will also be will also be available to class A that is multi-level inheritance. You can observe when I press dot operator I can see email, first name, last name and the method print full name and also the specific property of full-time employee that is yearly salary that is multi-level inheritance. Now we'll jump into next slide, next, uh, next sentence. C Sharp supports multi, multiple interface inheritance. Now, since C Sharp does not support multiple inheritance and that can be achieved using interface, multiple interface inheritance, we'll see this in the coming session when we learn deeply about interfaces. Child class is a specialization of base class. It means that here the child classes are part-time employee and full-time employee. These are the child classes. I'll just delete this. You can observe the child classes are full-time employee and part-time employee and the base class is employee. Here it tells us child class is a specialized specialization class of employee. Yes, it is. Why? Because this child classes will be having the ability to access the property of themselves as well as the properties and methods of the employee class. That is why child class is a specialization of base class. Now we'll jump into another statement. Base classes are automatically instantiated before derived class. It means that you can observe I'm having child classes like full-time employee and part-time employee. When I create an object of full-time employee, you can observe here I can access the properties and the methods which are present in the base class that is employee also. What happens is immediately when I create the object of child class at the at the back end. By default, um, before creating the object, by default, when you create an object of a child class, before only the objects of class employee will be instantiated. That is the meaning of this statement. Parent class constructor executes before child class constructor. Now, to understand this clearly, we'll demonstrate a demo. I'll set this at startup project and I'll open the program which it is. Now, as we saw in the presentation, parent class constructor executes before child class constructor. Now we'll see a demo for it, how it works. Now, I'll create a class, public, 
class parent class sorry this is a class now i'll create a constructor public parent class how do i create constructor this way constructor will be having the same name as the class name and i would like to print a sentence telling that parent ca class constructor called now similarly i'll create another class i'll name it as child class and here also we'll create a constructor of child class now here i'll change it to child class constructor called sorry you can observe i'm having a parent class this is the base class and i'm having a child class now this is derived class when i do inherit it. i'll do i'll inherit it from i'll inherit this and i'll inherit parent class to the child class now inherit is happened now parent class is the base class and child class is the derived class it is having the capability of taking both the properties of child class as well as the parent class that is the specialty of derived class now when i create a object of child class is equal to new when i create a property of this child class as i said in the presentation parent class constructor executes before child class constructor now we'll see a demo for it as soon as when i create a object of child class constructor when i run this program parent class constructor will be called first then the child class constructor will be called to understand it very clearly i'll run this program you can observe this program is being analyzed by us let's wait for that and you can observe here the parent class constructor called i did not invoke a called any constructor by default when i created a object of the child class by default it called the parent class constructor first then the child class constructor now i can override the constructor now i'll create another constructor here public parent class but this constructor is parameterized constructor i'll take string string i'll now now by default when i created a object of the child class by default the parent class constructor called but here we are having the two constructors one is parameterized constructor one is default constructor now child class will be having the capability to access which constructor it want in the base class how do i do that it's very simple here i have to give it as base and when i open brackets you can see it is asking me it is giving me an option to select which constructor i want for example you can observe here the first one the first one is the default constructor nothing will be there except it will print a line called parent class constructor but the second one is the parameter is constructor here i have to pass a string now i'll pass this is demo of derived power now when i do this i am giving a option to the derived class to select whichever the constructor it want in the base class now here i am selected the parameter is constructor now when i run this program the output will be first it will execute this is demo of derived power then it will execute the child class constructor call we'll see it see this is the demo of derived power and child class child class constructor call now the derived class is having the power to select the whichever the constructor it want then it will print the line whichever it is present in this constructor in that constructor now here i just passed the second one now if i want the default one what i have to do i have to just do like this now once i do this this part of the code will get executed this constructor will get executed we'll see that also 
parent class constructor called this is the clear cut example which shows that parent class constructor executes before the child class constructor thank you have a nice day please subscribe to ampro training below